The home in which I grew up in, my dear friends, there was a clear distinction between okra soup and okra stew. On the menu today is okra soup, the traditional Ghanaian way. My name is Yanoki and massive shout outs to my neighbor Amina for giving me this meat on the day of Salah. I'll be steaming my meat with this beetroot about a size like this and then onions i have some red bell pepper ginger garlic and yellow scotch bonnet pepper i add a little water and give it a quick blend to which i'll add to the meat amina says that this is a season that they, they share food but then she decided to give me meats and i'm so grateful for that so to that i'm going to add coriander seeds powder some of my mixed spice this mixed spice is really really saturated so just a little goes a long way i love bedia complete seasoning so i'll add a bit of that to it some seasoning cube and salt please remember to be generous with the salt at this point if this part of the soup is not salty your soup may end up being nice but the meat will not taste nice at all now i took this mackerel and smoked fish from the freezer i let it thaw completely but because it's been in the freezer for a while i'm just you know putting it quickly into my oven for about five minutes to just make it a bit more fresh <laughs> and then here is my okra did that trick work Hmm. <laughs> I doubt I'm adding some water and a little bit of baking soda we like slime in this part of the world <laughs> in our okra not forgetting about our meat I'll be checking and stirring from time to time don't worry about this whole red color from the beetroot it will change as it cooks <laughs> so I go back again to check on my okra okra cooks very fast <laughs> in a matter of five minutes it, it is done so we set that aside and then here is our meat now the stock around it is thick that is what we are looking for and you see you no longer see that red color from the beetroot in this yeah so stay from time to time and then remember my tomato sauce that i just shared yeah i'm adding part of it to this soup so from the way i was socialized okra soup is lighter with okra soup we go through the process of sort of preparing soup more of light soup and then we add our okra to it and then with the okra stew we go through the process of preparing stew by adding our oils tomatoes and other things and then we add our okra to it but then it is africa and we are diverse someone who is probably from nigeria our neighbors who might have a problem with me calling this soup because their okra soup is more like our okra soup let me know if i am wrong <laughs> in the comment section so i add in some water and then i will just let this boil more like we are preparing light soup for this particular one okay so i'm adding my meat this meat had been in the oven as i said for about five minutes sorry my mackerel <laughs> and my smoked fish so i'm adding that to it and then i'll just cover it and this under low heat you know halfway under low heat and let this simmer so at this point you can see some oil you know surfacing on top of my soup now it really depends on the kind of meat you use if your meat has a lot of oil you see that there's a lot of oil surfacing on top of the soup but if not it is all cool once it's been boiling for a while and it simmers it's done so at this point i added in the okra and you know our okra is already cooked so this is it what my grandmother does differently is that sometimes she does not boil her okra once the soup is ready she adds the okra to it and then she adds what we um, say what we call kanwa or can we salt pizza is that it <laughs> she adds it to it directly and then 
you know she continues the process but this so there are two ways you can do this either you cook your okra or you add it directly and then once i add it i'll just let everything simmer and a very low heat you don't want to cover it because we love the draw the draw makes our okra soup the okra soup okay and then you can have this with banku there are two ways i make my banku if i'm having with okra soup i make sure that the cassava dough is more than the corn dough and if I'm having with pepper, I make sure that the corn dough is more than the cassava dough. So this is where we have more cassava dough and less of corn dough. And we are done, beautiful people. Let me know how you describe soup or stew, where you come from. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the love. I really appreciate it please subscribe if you haven't it's a way of supporting me and i have amazing content coming up guys i just can't wait to share with you all the exploits god bless you i love you